So how is it this week, sped up one day? Does it throw you off a little? Is it a different rhythm to this week a bit? Absolutely, you know, we don't have that extra 24 hours, but you know, it's just all about maturity as a team and coming in, uh, getting your bodies right and preparing for this next, next game. Do you have to keep telling you today's Monday or Tuesday? Yeah, we kind of we kind of just changed the game clock a little bit from from, from where we started, but like I said it's just it's just a normal week now from now on. So Stanford, that offense being a little bit different than most offenses you've faced, what have you seen from them on film, and what kind of unique challenge are they? A lot of runs, a lot of power, and uh, some physicality up front that we haven't seen yet. That's, that's in the Pac-12 yet. Uh, I mean, they they obviously do different things than everyone else. Uh, but this is my third, this is my like, fourth year playing them. In a, I mean, so fourth time playing them. In, in three years, so I mean, I, I know what to expect, and, and I'm trying to share with the young guys and let everyone get on the same page. So we're ready. When you're up against an offense like that, what's the biggest difference plainly when you're on, you're playing defense on the field? What what do you see that's the biggest difference compared just, to? Just you know, eye discipline. You know, knowing your keys, seeing where the run's gonna go. You know, also anticipation because uh, I mean, a lot of the looks you're gonna know what's gonna come. It's just whether you can stop it or not. So a lot of film study, a lot of anticipation, and just communication with one another. Why has Stanford been so tough on you guys? Of your career. You know, there's a, they've been a tough team uh, throughout my career. You know, they, they, they do everything, they do it well. You know, uh, they're a very disciplined team. They don't make a lot of a lot of mistakes. And they don't create a lot of penalties for themselves. So, anytime you do that, you always have a great chance of winning. And they're they're a physical team. So we have to match that this this week. Does that put an extra chip on your guys' shoulders just to get a win after three straight losses? Absolutely. You know, uh, for me myself, you know, I've, I've never beat them. So I mean. I'm excited to play it, man. I can't wait. It's going to be a challenge, and I mean, this is what we, this is what we asked for. You were in a lot of pain in the last game against Stanford. Do you, what do you remember from that game? Man, like I said, <laughs> it's physical, physical game, uh, just like any other game. But I mean, it's a little bit more so since it's Stanford. You know, a lot of downhill runs, a lot of, a lot of uh, leads, a lot of powers. So. Was it, your, you guys know was it your kidney? It was your kidney last year? There was some in that, was, that was last year. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's a new year. I'm, I'm very healthy now, and I'm, I'm excited to play. Have you, has the team improved its physicality, you think, more that you can match up with Stanford than in previous years? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, our team is very physical. We like to hit. We like to run around. So, I mean, we're excited, and, and, and we're going to practice our butts off and be ready to play. It's a game with what you guys did against USC, does that help confidence coming into a game like this? Yes, I mean, all these weeks we've, we've gotten better each week and uh, we've watched film, we've, we've prepared for the next week, and we've, we've executed uh, on, the, on, on Saturday, so confidence is, is high right now. We know what we have to do, we know what we've done in the past weeks, so we're gonna keep doing the same thing this week and, and prepare for this, this Stanford game. I think you're sneaking up on the all-time career tackles record here. Has anyone mentioned that to you? Uh, I, I tell everyone not to mention it. I mean, people have had a couple weeks back, but I mean, I haven't heard about it or anything since you just mentioned it. <laughs> Stanford well, doesn't. You maybe enjoy a little bit more after the season. Yeah, I'll enjoy it later. I mean, I mean, like I said, I don't like to look at my stats or anything like that. I like to just play, play hard and play with my, my heart. And then at the end of the season, I'll look back on it and see what I did. Stanford doesn't really have a lead running back this year uh, compared to the last few years. What have you seen from that? Running back by committee. Kind of. Running back by committee is always a challenge, you know, because you never know who's gonna who's gonna uh, go off that day or who's gonna bring it, bring uh, what to the table. You know, you might expect for one guy to do something, but then another guy might be able to bring something else to the table that the other guy can't. So it's always a challenge, and and, and it's, like I said, it's nothing we haven't seen before, and we're ready. Watching the SC team, how active were Eddie and Kenny up front with you guys? Oh, extremely active, and, and, and our whole our whole D line as a whole, and our pass rush was, was awesome, especially our run defense as well. You know, uh, they don't get a lot of credit, but I mean, it's obviously it's, it's earned, and, it, and it's earned to practice. So hats off to those guys. How prepared is Kenny Young to step into your role next year? Kenny Young, he's 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 done everything right this year. You know, as coming in as a freshman. Uh, it's, 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 it's hard, especially in this conference. You know, a lot of looks that he's, he's getting are new. And so, so far, he's done a great job. And I mean, I would say he's, he's ready. How much do you talk to him in the end game? All the time. I, mean, I mainly talk to him in practice, like, hey, this is what we're going to be doing. This is what we're going to be seeing. You might need to get a little more depth here. You might need to see this, do that. But he, I mean, he just listens to me. And, and, and I, can, I, can, I can feel him listening to me. So, and, he, and he applies it. So, like I say, he's going to be a great player. And, he, and he's a great learner, most of all. Cool. Thank you,